Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to perform advanced keyword research for your product titles and descriptions using the Merchantformer Keyword Finder tool. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. In order for your print on demand and other e-commerce products to get found in online search, you have to use keywords and phrases that people are actually searching for. Even if you have the best product in your niche, you won't get any organic traffic or sales if people can't find your product. Without relevant keywords for search engines to associate with your product, there's no way for the algorithm to know what audience to show your products to. Luckily, there are tons of keyword research tools out there today, but if you're a print-on-demand seller, you probably won't find a better tool for finding top keywords and niches than Merchantformer. Merchantformer provides advanced market research tools to help print-on-demand sellers find top niches, products, and of course, keywords and phrases to optimize product listings and get ahead of the competition. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use Merchantformer to quickly perform keyword research using real-world search data collected from Amazon, Etsy, and other marketplaces. The Merchantformer Keyword Finder tool provides you with keywords that customers are actually typing into the search engine, so this is probably the most effective keyword research method to optimize your product listings, increase your SEO, and boost your online search rankings. So without further ado, let's go over how to use the Merchantformer Keyword Finder tool to find the best keywords to use for your product titles and descriptions. To access Merchantformer and follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description. Once you're signed up, go ahead and log in to access your Merchantformer dashboard. So here's your Merchantformer account dashboard. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you'll see all sorts of tools that you can use for market research. Since we're looking to find some good keywords for our product listing, let's click on the Keyword Research tab. This should open up a drop down menu showing you all the different tools available on Merch by Amazon to use for keyword research. For this tutorial, I'm going to be searching for keywords for my product listing using the Keyword Finder. Let's click it now and check it out. So here's the Merchantformer Keyword Finder tool where you can easily search through keywords from top ranked sources like Amazon and Etsy. You can simply type your topic into the search bar here and then select the source where you want to gather your keyword data from. Currently, you can search the top ranked keywords on Amazon US, Amazon UK, Amazon Germany, Etsy, and Cafe Press. Some of these were recently added, so I'm sure they'll add even more soon. Being able to access the search data on sites where customers are actually making purchases can give you a huge advantage. For my search data, I think I'll just stick with Amazon US as my source. So for my keyword search, I'll be looking for keywords to add to my life is better with a puppy product listing. For this design, the main keyword is obviously puppy, so let's type it into the search field here. Once you've added your keyword, go ahead and click on search. Merchantformer will then search the Amazon US marketplace for all the top keyword phrases containing the word puppy. You may notice low total results at first, but give it a little time because Merchantformer is still gathering results from the Amazon US marketplace. But after giving it a few minutes, you'll notice a lot more total results on the page. Merchantformer is constantly gathering data, so the results could increase even further. But for now, I think this is enough to get us started. So let's check out my search results for my main keyword of puppy. So as you can see, I currently have 285 total results. In the results here, you have a column for the keyword and keyword phrases, the Amazon search volume, the Google search volume, the cost per click, the competition rating, and various actions to perform even more research on the keyword phrase. If you click the sort by dropdown menu at the top right, you can sort the results by Amazon search volume, Google search volume, or cost per click. So now that you have your search data, go ahead and scroll through the results and find the ones that best fit your product. As you can see, you're not just getting single keywords, you're actually getting keyword phrases that people are actually searching for that contain two or more words. Using top keyword phrases in your product descriptions will definitely give your rankings a boost. Competitors with similar designs will likely have the word puppy in both their title and description 
but many won't take the time to actually research full keyword phrases. Being able to use keyword phrases that customers are actually typing into the search engine will help you blast past your competition. In order to keep track of all the keywords and keyword phrases that you want to use for your product listing, I recommend creating a simple keyword list. This is a great way to keep everything organized and have everything you need to quickly write your product title and description. When creating your keyword list, make sure you're adding all the keywords and keyword phrases that are related to your design. For example, for my life is better with a puppy design, the keyword phrase puppy love would work great, but something like puppy whelping collars wouldn't make it to my list. When looking for keywords and keyword phrases, one thing you want to make sure to check out is the search volume. Scroll through your results and search for the keywords and keyword phrases that have the highest search volume and also add those to your list. For example, both the keyword phrases puppy toy and puppy training have really high search volume. Although my product isn't a puppy toy and doesn't have anything to do with puppy training, I still want to work these into my description somehow. If you're creating paid ad campaigns, the information available in the cost per click and the competition columns can be super useful. The CPC column, of course, will show you the average cost per click for that particular keyword phrase. And you can see how competitive a keyword phrase is using the competition column. If you can find a keyword phrase with high search volume, a low cost per click, and low competition, that would be the moneymaker. So now let's take a look at the actions column. Here's where you can get a ton of other really valuable data for your keyword phrase. The first little shopping cart icon here is the product search. Let's click it and check it out. This will take you to the product search where you can get actual details about the products that are being sold using this keyword phrase. The keyword you selected should already be in the text field, so let's click on search and see what comes up. So as you can see, you can get tons of data about the products using this particular keyword phrase. If we look at the results data, we can see the number of products using this keyword, the average BSR of the products, the lowest price, the highest price, the average price, and the category and marketplace the products are listed in. If you scroll down the page, you can see the actual products using this keyword so you can easily compare your products to the competition. And speaking of competition, if you look at the right hand side, you can also see your competition score which lets you know how good of an opportunity a keyword is based on the current competitors. With a competition score of A, I think this is a pretty good keyword phrase. You can also view other valuable information like related keywords, but let's head back over to the keyword finder and check out some of the other icons. To easily keep track of the keyword phrases that you like, simply click the heart icon here to add it to your favorites. You can click the magnifying glass icon to search this keyword phrase in the keyword finder and click the information icon to view more details. If you wanted to download all of the keywords, simply click on download results at the top here. The keywords will be downloaded in a CSV file, which can be opened and edited in Excel. So once you've gone through all of your results and found the relevant keywords for your product, go ahead and head over to your keyword list. On your keyword list, go ahead and add all the keywords that you researched. This is a great way to keep track of everything to write your product title and description. For your product title, you always want to make sure to use your main keyword. For my design, of course it's going to be puppy. Since the design I'm using for my product contains actual text, I'm going to use the text as my product title. So here's my life is better with the puppy title, and puppy is obviously the main keyword. Now let's create my description. Your description is where most of your keywords should be added to your product listing. When creating my descriptions, I typically try to add all of the keywords and keyword phrases that I researched on Merchantformer. Some keywords may not be as relevant as others, so you may have to get a little creative with your writing. So let's quickly read my description and see how I implemented my keywords. My description says, does your day get better when you're with your puppy? Well, this life is better with a puppy, puppy quote design is for you. This is the perfect puppy shirt to wear to your puppy theme party. Makes a great puppy outfit for playing with your furry friend, shopping for puppy toys, puppy supplies, or putting up your puppy party decorations. If you're looking for the perfect puppy related gift, select your favorite color and get your life is better with the puppy gear today. So as you can see, I think I included all of the keyword phrases on my list here. With some well researched keywords and keyword phrases and an optimized title and description, I can now upload my product to my store. 
With everything easily accessible on your list, it's easy to copy and paste your title, your description, and even your keywords. Some sites like Redbubble allow you to add tags to your products, which are simply keywords separated by commas. So since I've already researched some good keywords, I'll paste those here. So finally, let's copy and add my description and publish my life is better with a puppy design to my online store. So as an example, let's search the Redbubble marketplace and see how some of the keywords worked for some of my previous products. In my Quantum Designs demo store, I have a collection of products on the subject of martial arts. So let's see if using researched keywords can actually boost your search ranking by searching for the keyword phrase martial arts lifestyle. So as you can see, we have over 1300 results for the keyword phrase martial arts lifestyle. So let's take a look at these results and see where my products rank. So here's the first one from Quantum Designs which is on the fourth row of the first page. This is my karate lifestyle design. So out of 1300 results, I'll say that's not too bad. So let's continue scrolling down the page and see if we can find another. So a few lines below my karate lifestyle design, here's my Taekwondo lifestyle product. And if we continue scrolling down the page, you'll see even more of my products like this Taekwondo lifestyle mask here. So as you can see, using optimized keywords can boost your search rankings, improve your SEO, and put you ahead of your competition. So that's a quick overview of how to use the Merch Informer Keyword Finder to research keywords to use for your product listing. If you want to try out Merch Informer to get keywords that people are actually searching for, go ahead and click the link in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.